Good morning, checking the latest news. I'm Mayanna Jensen. A former mayoral candidate who is suing Ipswich's mayor and city council for millions of dollars has hit a legal snag with the judge suggesting she get some legal advice. Patricia Peterson is suing current Ipswich Mayor Andrew Antonelli, the City Council and former state member Rachel Nolan. In January, Dr Peterson said her electoral signs were wrongfully seized and damaged during the 2012 state election campaign and has alleged Ms Nolan and Mr Antonelli, who was a councillor at the time, misused public office to cause her harm. Dr. Peterson's procedural application was dismissed on Monday in the Brisbane Supreme Court and she was ordered to pay costs with the matter overall to continue on a list for self-represented people. A massive expansion of Ipswich's hospital will go ahead with construction starting in 2020. The $124 million expansion includes a new 50 bed mental health facility, an MRI machine and a new car park. Health Minister Stephen Miles said the commitment marked the beginning of a new era and would not only increase clinical capacity, but would ensure it met the needs of the community. The funding was promised in November as an election commitment and comes after former Health Minister Cameron Dick acknowledged the hospital's issues with low bed numbers last June. He said at the time that improving the area was a priority for the state government. And in weather news, Bayside Brisbane residents have been issued urgent advice about preparing for wild conditions as the southeast braces for a possible cyclone. Redland City Council urged residents last night to start preparing for a tropical low with four sandbagging stations due to open today. The Bureau of Meteorology warned of a moderate chance of a cyclone in the Coral Sea, which could approach central or southern Queensland Wednesday or Thursday. The Bureau said the cyclone was expected to remain offshore, but was forecasting swells of about four metres between the Sunshine and Gold Coasts, with winds of about 30 knots an hour likely. The cyclone is not expected to affect Ipswich, apart from bringing some rain to the region today and tomorrow.